Hello and good afternoon. Good afternoon to all of my EXPers out there, my fellow agent attractors, and to our future EXP agents. My name is Brian Russo, and this is the first of many agent attraction conversations. Now, in today's conversation, we're gonna discuss very briefly the significance and importance of agent attraction within EXP. Uh, the EXP Agent Attraction Book of the Month presented to you by Brian Russo. And finally, uh, my personal favorite way to expand your influence within uh, Agent Attraction. Now, a uh, little bit about me. Um, I got my start in real estate in 2005. I worked from 2005 to 2008 in sunny Southern California with Tarbell Realtors, just a boutique firm. Um, and I stepped away just 100% based on the economic downturn uh, of 2008. Fast forward nearly a decade, um, EXP was introduced to me by my father-in-law, Gene Frederick. Uh, Gene joined EXP uh, back in April of 2015, and at that time, there were only 400 agents, 400 to 450 agents uh, with the organization. Here now, in April of 2019, we sit at over 18,000 agents. It is just incredible to consider the amount of growth and expansion that we've seen. And agent attraction, of course, is a the direct uh, uh, cause of all of that. And Gene himself uh, has been the catalyst to a lot of that growth. So I'm in a very unique position. I'm very thankful to God and the blessing that is EXP. Um, and to be able to share some of the things that I've learned uh, with all of you. Now, first things first, I'd like to talk about the uh, uh, Agent Attraction Book of the Month and get that out of the way. Uh, I'm a huge advocate of uh, reading, uh, listening to podcasts, listening to audiobooks, uh, just anything to get my mindset expanded uh, and to get my activity up and, and, and moving. Um, the book of April 2019 is Robert Kiyosaki's Cash Flow Quadrant. Now, many of us, we've uh, read or heard of Robert Kiyosaki's uh, famous books. Uh, the Cash Flow Quadrant is the second book in his Rich Dad, Poor Dad series. And um, here's why I think it's significant and important. We just need to know where we're putting our efforts and why we are putting our efforts there. Um, First, as we know, um, the E quadrant, uh, and it might be inverted, but the E quadrant is on the top left. Uh, that represents all of the employees, all of the people out there who have a job, uh, you know, the guy benefits, 401k, the whole deal. Um, and you know, they're pretty comfortable. They're, they're, they're happy working that job and, and that's great. Um, um, the S quadrant is where most real estate agents fall, you know, and other uh, specialized professionals. We're talking professionals like lawyers, doctors, and again, agents. Uh, they're in the S quadrant in the bottom left. And in the S quadrant, you more or less own a job, right? That's not quite, you're independent, you know, you're your own boss, but you own a job. All of your income is directly uh, impacted by the amount of effort that you put in, the amount of time that you put in. And all of those things completely fall on your shoulders. Now, the significance and just game change that, that EXP brings to the table, you know, thank you to our founder, Glenn Sanford. Uh, he gives us a very, very easy and comprehensive way to go from S, which is me, right, all of my efforts, to B, the business owner, which is we. If you have organic relationships and you know bring people on other agents onto EXP, you know you get paid for you know some of the uh, contributions that they make in their production to the business. Um, I think that that is significant. Going from from me to we creates a way that we can make our income uh, broadened. Uh, it can be duplicatable, and it's something that not only can impact and change my life, but it impacts and changes the lives of others. Uh, and that's what I'm all about. And then finally, the bottom right hand quadrant is I. That's the investor quadrant. You know, Glenn thought of it all. EXP has a way to uh, add stock uh, to the portfolio of agents, you know, just doing their you know normal transactional duties. So uh, I just think it's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful model that we have here at EXP. And I'm so thankful again uh, to God and to the blessing that is EXP. Um, now, 
why and that's kind of ties into why uh, agent attraction is so significant because you know we all work together um as the great brent gove says rising tides rise all ships um and it's just super helpful to me to know that i can uh you know leverage uh the the talents and the skills and the experiences of others to help you know improve my you know agent attraction uh capabilities and that's going to be the segue into the final piece that i want to talk about in our conversation you know so often you know agents ask or they're curious you know hey what's the secret sauce you know your gene son-in-law or my wife nicole she has a wonderful organization and i have relationships with other uh, uh, agents within exp you know and because i have that exposure and i'm kind of working things on my own agents come to me and they say hey you know how is this working how is this working for you i'll tell you that you know leveraging relationships is the best way to grow your business to grow your agent attraction business for me i like going to destination events destination events are wonderful because you have an opportunity to truly take in uh, different experiences uh you know testimonials as to what's worked for other agents uh you learn what not to do you know what what made people not so successful uh, and then also to build and develop relationships you know, people want to help. Uh, people want to get on three-way calls. If if you've got boots on the ground uh, in different parts of the country and, and they say, hey, I don't know of any other EXP agents. Well, hey, I happen to know a guy, right? Or I happen to know somebody who was in an emerging market by themselves and they found a way to grow their business locally in these ways. You know, those resources are just invaluable. I like to make a, a very special uh, acknowledgement to a uh, you know a business partner of mine Roderick Johnson you know he and I traveled to San Antonio Texas for uh, a wonderful event called Mac the maximum experience it was a destination event focused solely on agent attraction and for me just deepening that relationship with my business partner you know uh, watching his business grow and flourish uh, is just that's what I do this for uh, and then more than that, just watching him build relationships and we build other relationships together with a gentleman, for example, by the name of uh, Otis Wellborn in Cincinnati, Ohio. You know, he's a very, very sharp guy, got a great uh, media presence uh, just to learn some of those tips and tricks. It's wonderful. Uh, and even in the form of support, you know. Uh, there was another agent uh, who recently relocated to the Dallas Fort Worth area, you know, by the name of Don Charles. You know, I just want to love on her, love on her business, help her with agent attraction. I assume that that was important to her because she was at this event. And if she's new to the area and I can kind of plug her into different, uh, you know, uh, uh, social groups, like I'd love to do that. Uh, so and the list goes on. Uh, so just from me to you, I highly, highly, highly recommend uh, that you make these destination events a priority. Uh, you know, my commitment to you is that I will do my best to share these uh, when they come available. Uh, if I'm aware of them, I'll definitely try to share. Uh, and then finally, if you see me out, get to know me. Uh, I'd love to help. And I know that others would as well. So again, first of many Asian attraction conversations. Uh, thank you so much. I look forward to speaking with you again soon. Bye.